Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 13 Beta 3.2 which is unexpected. This is a minor update but still it has some visual tweaks here and there that I'm going to show you on my Pixel 6 Pro. But before starting let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos. And now let's jump in. So let's take a look at the build number really quick. It's tpb3.220610.004 and now let's take a look at the new features starting with the lock screen the first change is the appearance of the vibrate icon on the lock screen not only on the home screen like before so if you take a look here on the previous build of android 13 as you see the vibrate icon is not showing and once i go inside it now shows back again but in the new build now you see it on the lock screen and the home screen the second change if you are playing songs now you can see the app icon next to the artist name on the always on display which wasn't the case before moving on to the home screen and the most obvious change is the new lens icon in the search widget and also in the system wide search if we're going to compare this side by side with the previous version as you see they look totally different and the new icon matches the one we have in google chrome so if you take a look here it uses the same lens icon the widget settings drop target now looks different as you see it uses two lines and there is no longer a settings icon the third change is related to the system wide search now when you go to home settings and then search your phone you will see a new toggle called always show keyboard which means once you swipe up to access the app drawer the keyboard will show up this is exactly the same thing we used to have in the stable version but now you can only activate it from your home settings now let's talk about a couple of gestures and the first thing is the predictive back gesture as you see when i swipe from the edge now the home screen is showing in the background as demonstrated before by google and in my previous video the same thing will show you a black background but now this issue is fixed google also removed a gesture that we used to have in the previous version by tapping and holding on the notification to start a quick split screen it seems like this gesture is no longer working i tried it many times with multiple apps and it doesn't work and finally the clipboard overlay menu no longer shows the edit button but instead you get a share button and if you want to edit you simply need to tap on it now let's talk about the changes under settings and the first one is under the battery settings page as you see i'm getting a notification here says higher battery usage see apps with highest usage tapping on it will show you this overlay card with the name of apps and also a quick note saying because you have used your phone more than usual your battery may run out sooner than it normally would so this is a nice touch it will allow you to know what apps are eating your battery in the background the second change is a new icon next to the system ui now it uses the android 13 logo and lastly under security and then google play system update now i'm on july 1st 2022 before installing this build i was on june 1st now let's talk about the bug fixes and improvements the most annoying bug i used to have in beta 3.1 all of a sudden the back gesture stopped working but now after installing beta 3.2 seems like this issue is now fixed fix number two is in the phone app in 3.1 when i used to make a phone call and then hang up the line a blank page with the hang up button stays on the screen for five seconds but now this issue is gone fix number three is related to the picture in picture window in google maps previously in android 12 and all the previous versions of android 13 if i have the assistant driving mode activated and then swipe up to go home the assistant driving mode bar stays on the screen for a few seconds but now as you see when i swipe up this rendering issue is no longer happening on top of this there are four more bug fixes that i didn't experience myself but they are mentioned in the change log of this build the first one is fixed for an issue where the at a glance settings page would collapse inconsistently while scrolling fixed for an issue where some apps would crash on opening fixed an issue where the microphone would turn on and off unexpectedly and finally fixed for an issue where the google photos app would crash frequently now let's talk about the bugs i spotted in this build and there is only one when i go to settings and then notifications then do not disturb and then tap on schedules tapping on gaming will crash the settings app as you see here and sometimes i get uh, this overlay 
card saying settings keeps stopping and also when i start any game the gaming dashboard doesn't show up so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes in android 13 beta 3.2 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video